Welcome to Powertech Insights. In this tutorial, I'll guide you how to generate secondary injection test results from Schneider FFTK Full Function Testing Kit and FFTK Report Generator. Let's get started. First, I will show you the most common mistakes people make during its installation. Many users install the FFTK Report Generator in the default Windows directory, which is incorrect. As you will see, while communication with the injection kit can be established, it will not be possible to download the test results from the kit. Correct procedure to install FFTK Report Generator software. Download the FFTK Report Generator from Schneider's official website. Visit the official Schneider Electric website and download the latest version of the FFTK Report Generator. Start the installer as administrator. When prompted for installation path, do not install in the default Windows Program Files directory. Instead, browse and select a folder. In my case, I have selected C. Users Username Documents FFTK Report Generator. Complete installation. Proceed with the installation normally. After installation, verify that the software shortcuts and files are correctly placed inside the selected folder and shortcut on desktop. Connect the FFTK injection kit via RS-232 to USB converter cable. So this is the cable we installed here. So this is a power cable, first of all. We need to put a power cable here and Turn the spy on. Yeah, as you can see. So this is the serial port we're going to install. So this is what we have is Moxa RS three through three two USB converter. This is where I'm going to put it inside. You can see. So let's uh, pull the 
report and this is a screen calibration so here we can go you can see these are the result test result so so these are the test result we gonna download to the proper sheet yes we can see let's go back okay let's go to the pc and pull the result from the this twice Open the device manager to identify the communication port number. As here, I have connected via port number 2. Now, you should be able to establish communication. Select the identified the communication port. As we know, it's COM port 2. You can edit the report, like you can change a project name, location, and other information for reporting purposes. Now you can generate the final test results without errors in Excel or PDF formats. Why this is important. Installing in program files can cause permission issues with Windows security. The software needs full read and write access to its working folders save and download test results properly. Correct path installation ensures smooth communication and error-free reporting.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more expert tutorials. See you in the next video.